Now that you know how to launch and shut down your computer safely, we will now explore the Windows desktop in more depth. From a guide to your options in the Start menu, Taskbar and Desktop area, to the visual effects, shortcuts and gadgets that you can add to customise your workspace. In this part of our tutorial, you will learn how to find items on your computer, launch applications, use the search and help facilities, and personalise your desktop. Your computer is now ready and waiting for use, and with our guided tour of Windows, you will soon be confident in finding your way around. We will begin our exploration of the Windows desktop with an overview of the functions within the Start menu. So let's get started. the Start menu. This button opens the Start menu, which is the nerve center of all your desktop activities. At the click of a button, you can access all the programs, folders, files and utilities on your PC. You can also search for items, apply system settings, and perform essential tasks to keep your computer running smoothly. As you can see, the Start menu is divided into two main sections. The left gives access to all your applications, whilst the right side provides quick links to various important areas on your computer, as well as the shutdown options we looked at earlier. First, let's look at the left-hand side, which currently contains a list of useful programs. Your computer manufacturer can customise this list, so its exact appearance will vary. You may notice that over time, the lists of programs in this area will change. This is because the Start menu automatically detects which programs you use the most and places them in this area for easy access. If you want to open a program that is not listed here, select All Programs here at the bottom and you will see a list of all the applications and accessories installed on your PC. Again, the actual appearance of this list will vary depending on the software that is installed on your own computer. These folders contain more programs and utilities. For example, if we click on Accessories, we can see a list of useful applications such as the calculator, paint and WordPad. The Accessories menu also contains the System Tools folder where you will find many useful utilities for performing system and maintenance tasks on your PC, such as Disk Cleanup, Disk Defragmenter and System Restore, amongst others. These tools will be discussed in more depth in the Maintenance section of our tutorial in Part 4. To close any folders you have opened within the Programs list, simply click on the folder once again. When you have finished exploring the Programs list, click this Back button to return to the main Start menu. At the bottom of the Start menu, you will find the Search box. Finding a file, folder or application is a quick and simple process in Windows as the search facility allows you to perform an instant search across your whole system for virtually anything located on your PC, whether it's a document, a picture or even an application. It will also search through your email messages, saved instant messages, appointments and contacts. To illustrate this feature, we will perform a search for the WordPad program by clicking in the search box and typing in WordPad. As we type, you will notice that this white area transforms into a results list as Windows tries to predict what we are looking for. Notice that by the time we have typed in the letter W, a list of results has already appeared showing various items on our PC containing this letter. As we continue to type, the results are narrowed down accordingly until our exact request is matched. To launch WordPad, simply scroll up and select it with a mouse click.
If you still can't find what you're looking for, try clicking See More Results. This opens an Internet Explorer window of extended search results. Here, you will notice that every instance of your search phrase has been highlighted to help make it easier to find what you're looking for. You can add search filters to your queries by kind, date modified, type or size. You can also narrow down your search by selecting a specific folder to search. If you don't find what you're looking for...